The BBC released its drama about paedophile Jimmy Savile today. It's called The Reckoning. Steve Coogan plays the monster who uses celebrity status to prey on hundreds of people. The comedian claims the BBC is holding its own feet to fire despite any mention of a cover-up of allegations against the presenter. I, I, I thought, why are we doing this? What, what's it for? It has to, when people see it, it has to justify itself. It's always difficult when an institution has to be culpable. My initial concern was, are they, are they trying to go easy on themselves? And Jeff, the producer, said, no, uh, quite the reverse. They want to put their feet to the fire. I think, really, the BBC is, is in a kind of a, a sort of a damned if they do, damned if they don't situation where, um, on balance, it, it is best they make it. And that, uh, like all these things, not just the, the BBC's accountability, that you have to go through a little pain uh, to, to come through the other side. The investigator who exposed Savile told Talk TV the BBC should not have made the series. The bottom line is the BBC shouldn't be doing this. I, I understand to a degree they think that actually, do you know what, we need to put some things right. They made so many mistakes that I think some things are left better not said. There are so many victims in this case, many of whom I've spoken to over the last days and weeks, and they don't want it. They do not want it at all. We're not talking about a couple here. There are a couple of victims. We're talking about well in excess of 500 victims. That's an awful lot of people. And I think this story would be better left untold, certainly by the BBC. I don't think it should not be told. I mean, mm. No victim is ever going to want to rehash and watch what they've been mm. through, uh, whether it's them or their families. But whether it's Jeffrey Dahmer or any other true crime that's then turned into, a, into entertainment for us, this is just another entertainment show, essentially. Yeah. The BBC should definitely, though, have held themselves to account yeah. and, properly. and properly and really put their feet to the fire. I, I don't believe any, any of that tosh. Maybe, maybe it shouldn't have been done by the BBC. It should have been done like ITV or somewhere else. But that's probably perhaps why the BBC decided to do it, to actually... Because they, they the, if it had mm. been done by somebody else, they would have had the part about Newsnight being pulled, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, that, I mean, that it's, is... It's a difficult one, though, isn't it? Because if you've got a, a writer who says, this is the bit of the story that I'm interested in, and it's not the Newsnight bit, then you're really getting into the realms of the, the producers really interfering in, in mm. his or her artistic liberty to should decide... They should, they should intervene. But if, if you have written a screenplay and you take that to the BBC and you say, take it or leave it, this is my screenplay and this is this is the show I want to make, and then the BBC may say, yeah, well, can you change that bit and change that bit and change that bit? That's what then, then you're getting into a really weird editorial censorship type I, of I thing. See, I see your, your editorial yeah. direction question, but I, I, I think if it was the BBC, they should have said, we need this to be hard on the BBC. We'll yeah. do it right? yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and they've got the power because it's their commission. But I am actually, I'm obviously alone here, but I'm not sure it should have been made, actually. I'm, really? I'm not even sure I'm going to watch it. And, and I, but that's I, your choice, though, it, And it? I've I got the right to the, make that choice, yeah. and I think that's probably the right place to land this. Yeah. But I'm thinking, you know, I was looking for parallels, uh, and I was, I was looking, how soon, when's the right time to produce something like this? And is this going to be... This is drama, is it entertainment? How's it going to make us all feel? I'm actually going to feel... I'm not squeamish, but I'm going to be a bit squeamish, I think, I mean, I, I, I don't think it was quite fair what uh, Mark Williams was saying there about none of the victims wanting... Yeah. ..or survivors uh, wanting this to be made, because the lady who Steve Coogan was sitting next to mm. in that clip was one of Savile's uh, victims and spoke in that interview very, very movingly about her own experience and she was completely on board with this production being made. She wanted people to know what he was like. She said it was a, a really good representation um, of who Jimmy Savile was, what he got away with it and how horrendous he was. Well, and, and she... there, there's an ultimate judge there, but I also understand, and, and this probably should modify... See, I'm, I'm even open-minded on this. <laughs> Apparently, at the beginning of each one, a victim speaks at the mm. opening a real victim, they say oh. something. That's what I've been told, I haven't yeah. seen it. Right. And I think that that might deal with some of the issues I'm obviously concerned about. Um, yeah. I'd and, have to watch it to and, find and, out. And just, just something that, that none of us are obviously aware of. So although this is a BBC show, it's been made by ITV Studios. So oh, that's slightly it. complicated. So ITV oh, Studios, obviously, is an independent production firm. Company, happens yeah. to be, you know, part of you know, yeah. ITV, which also does ITV News. But so it's sort of straddling both broadcasters. But Nick, Nick is completely right, though. When they take it, when the script is taken to the BBC, the BBC should say, 
I believe they should intervene. That's what producers are there to do. Say, this isn't good enough, This is we want it more like this. If the writer says, no, I'm not doing it, then it's like, OK, then we don't make it. Get yeah, another writer. Get another writer. Yeah, yeah at yeah. that point, you can't really hold the BBC at fault there. Anyway. Yeah.